I'm searching for life again. You know I miss you, right? You seem like crazy, Avery. Now, I don't want you to haunt me like Cam did Ryan. No offense, Cam. But seriously, I miss you. I finally took off the ring. That little bitch didn't want to come off. I'm just going to let you know that now. It did not want to come off, but... I know you wouldn't want to be taken off a long time ago. Avery, I know Byron's in jail. But there's something in me that still wants to go to Tracy and just beat her ass. But growth, right? Growth and therapy. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Hi. A new start, right? Right. A new start. Falling off like pain, like the sun. Breaking through like rays, it feels like magic dust from space. It's like a thrill that fills my heart. I'm searching for life again. What is going on, beautiful people? It's your boy here, Wesley, from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place on the World Wide Web where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences, and welcome to my channel. I am going to be reviewing, semi-reviewing, the Challenge USA, and I have to say, I wasn't trying to rhyme at that particular time, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I like to play. Anyways, uh, we're on like season 45 of the challenge. I think it's like season 36 or something. Uh, something like that. I don't know. Uh, but it's been a lot of challenges. And when they started introducing like all these other variety characters into the challenge, which is known and, and stems from uh, MTV First, I wasn't really feeling it. I wasn't really liking it. But if it wasn't for them doing that, we would never got Nelson. We've never got Corey. Uh, we, would, we wouldn't have got some people that I've come to respect and or like in the challenge. And so, okay, cool. You're bringing all these people from all these other shows to do the Challenge USA. TJ Lavin is still the host. There's 28 of them. And I'm like, okay. I just recently got into Survivor with the last season with Shan and, and uh, Danny and that season, right? So I, that's the season that I watched. I wasn't impressed. I don't know why people love Survivor that much, but I did find a connection with Danny to say the least. Not so much Shan because I don't like how her relationship with herself and the other black man, I can't remember his name, panned out on television. I thought that was a wash. And it reminded me of what happened between Davon and David. And I was not appreciative of that. And I felt like Shan was... Anyways, that was that show. I didn't like her on Survivor, and I don't feel like I'm gonna like her now. So that's just me and my thing, right? But right off the rip, I'm 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 gunning or cheering on the Big Brother crew because we have Xavier, Aza, Kylan, uh, 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 David. Oh uh, Jesus! Oh God! Y'all know who we have on the Big Brother. I'm, a, I'm about to go down the cast, the cast listing now. But we have the Big Brother alumni there, and I'm cool. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative of them bringing those particular ones on. I'm so glad uh, Homeboy is not on here. What is his name? David? Oh, my God. I'm so glad he's uh, not on here. Maybe he didn't want to come on because he lost every physical challenge of Big Brother. And this is a physical comp thing, period. So maybe he just needs to get himself together mentally and physically to come on this show. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I think his name is David. 
I think. I can't, but whatever. Whatever. Anyways, so I'm so glad he's not on the show. And so the Survivor cast, I'm glad that Danny's on the show. Other than that, I don't know anybody else. I don't watch Amazing Race. And I don't watch Love Island. So I'm automatically Team Survivor and Team Big Brother. So going on the kids cast, we have from Love Island, Cashel Barnett. Don't know who he is. Kyra Green, don't know who she is. Melvin Seco Holland Jr., damn he fine, okay? Uh, Justine Dediba, and Diba, she's gorgeous. Uh, Cache Proudfoot, I think her and her, we would vibe. All day long, we would vibe. Giovanni Vega had a fatty on him, what? Um, Shannon St. Clair, she's cool. I don't really, I don't know her. Selly Vasquez, okay. And from Big Brother, we got David Alexander. I hope he I hope he does better this season. Aza Awasam oh, girl. Alyssa Lopez. I didn't really care for her. Tiffany Mitchell, that's Bay. I love her all day. Enzo Palumbo, he's cool. Xavier Pather, that's daddy. Uh Angela Rummins. She was cool on her season, although, although. I wasn't really like vibing with how like she was on Bailey season. Was she on Bailey season? And you know I love Bailey is queen uh, all day. So, but she was playing the game like she played the game. She she did her thing. Angela is a baddie. Derek Derek Zhao or Chow. I love him. I want him to do be better this particular go round. The the narrative is Alyssa and Derek are mad and want to seek vengeance on the cookout members. And that's cute for a storyline, because I already know that they cool and thick as thieves. Maybe that could be true. Maybe they do want revenge, because they did get played. But let's not do too much. Kylan is daddy all day. <laughs> Kylan Young, of course, from the cookout. Cool dude. We chat a little bit on Instagram. I'm bigging him up, because I want him to be successful. I think he's super competitive, and I feel like he would do well in this particular season of the challenge. Only if he's paired with the right partner because they're doing this partner pairing thing. And yeah, we're going to talk about it. From Survivor, you got Dominic. I don't know who that is. Um, Tyson. Don't know who that is, but he won Survivor apparently. Um, will be very familiar to face Survivor fans. He has made several appearances on the franchise. Yeah, we said it was on the four, four, four times. First, he started, started on Survivor. Uh... Tolkentons, Tolkantons, and then Survivor Heroes versus Villains. Before winning his next stint on Survivor Blood versus Water, he then returned once again for Survivor Winners at War, where he came in 11th place. So apparently he's like the beast of all beasts. Beast. Then you have Ben Dree Bergen, don't know who that is. Tasha Fox, don't know who that is, but she came in very close to winning. Sarah, she just seems like a bad ass. Like, what? Like, who would want to deal with her? Not too many people. That's what she gives me. Then you have Danny McRae. That's all day long. Like, rooting for him all day long. Uh, Shan, she, she, could, she could be eliminated quick. Desi, I don't know who she is, but she's gorgeous. And then from Amazing Race, you have Kay Kayla Platt, who ends up being the partner with David in the beginning. And I felt bad for her because, you know, David doesn't have a, a positive track record with, like, winning. So I felt bad for her. And I felt bad for Kylan being with Aza. Um, Leo Tipperary, I don't know who that is. James, apparently he won his particular season. James had a very successful run on Amer uh, Amazing Race Season 32, which saw him crown the winner. Okay. Um, and so, okay, yeah, not a lot of Amazing Race folks. Okay, interesting. I'm not going to go down every particular paired people in this challenge, right? You got 28 people going down this tall building having to do a math, a math equation. Now, would I want to particularly be in this particular challenge? No. I'm not trying to vie for the challenge. You can put me on, uh, you can put me on the circle on Netflix you can put me on Big Brother on CBS, but I'm not doing, I don't want to do no challenge. I'm not fighting no, I'm not doing no hall brawl. I'm not breaking my ankle, breaking my elbow. I'm not doing no pole wrestle grab. I'm not doing none of that stuff. Nah, not with dudes looking like Cinco and dudes looking like uh, 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 Xavier. Like what? Nah, 
I'm good. Dude's looking like Danny. Like, what? What are we talking about? You want me to do that? I'm not doing that. Nope, I refuse. But I watch. And so it was very it was very interesting because Aza and Kylan went down first, and they seemed like they were really doing well. Like, you know, getting the scores and adding everything up and multiplying and dividing and subtracting and all of that. And then we get to the bottom and they get the number wrong. Tell me why. <laughs> Tell me why they had to climb up the steps to go all the way back up to then drop back down. I was like, you shitting me. They couldn't take no elevator. You is shitting me 27 floors all the way up. You had to take steps. Man, listen here. That was hilarious, but I felt so bad for Kylan. I felt horrible for Kylan because it's, it's clear as day, Oz is not a physical beast. She's not. And, you know, Kylan purposely been training for this show or whatever, and Oz hasn't been, you know, so now they got to climb up the steps 27. Like, nah, like, that's, but listen, they did it. Oz took her behind up them steps. And they came back down and got it right. She was gassed the hell out when she came down and hyperventilating and stuff. But I appreciate and respect her for having the balls, one, to come on the show, and two, to get through it, right? To get through it. Now, right off the rip, they're talking about who they want to go against. You know, the TV shows are not going to go against their own members on the TV shows. That would kind of like be dumb, right? I, I say the same thing in Big Brother. Like, you, you know, if you have a whole thing of black folks, why would y'all go against each other? That don't make sense. So clearly, the way that they're dividing this up is that if you were on Love Island, Love Island sticks together. If you were on Survivor, you stick together. Big Brother, stick together. You know, Amazing Race, stick together, even though there's only four of them. That makes sense. That That's what everyone has the mindset is that's, that's what they're going to do and that's what they're doing. Oh, but the, oh, but the twist at the end. The twist at the end throws all that, to, all that to the wayside, right? You know, we end up with partners like Angela and I think his name is Tyson, I think. Don't give me the line. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna learn these folks. Tyson, yeah, Tyson. Angela and Tyson get together, that is a threat. That, Right away, they look like a beast machine. Right away. So I would feel some sort of way automatically seeing them together. Um, everybody gets through the competition. No one flubs. Even David and homegirl, Platt. They don't flub. They get through it because she figures out the math problem. And... I'm liking that. I'm I'm celebratory for David, you know, because again, David's track record is not the greatest. So the only ones that flub this particular challenge are Kylan and Aza, unfortunately. Okay? Man, listen. Aza Aza skated all the way to through in her, her thing. She, did she only she only won like one cop? Or did she not win a cop? I think she only won one cop, and the one cop she won was against David, and that wasn't saying much at all. What? Oh, man. Let's, oh, Jesus. The memories. Anyways, so Kylan and Oz are automatically going into the arena. Makes sense. We know this is how it goes on the challenge. We understand this. And so the, the campaigning is going on for the shows to stick together. Big brother with big brother, and so on and so on and so on. So the conversations are being had, and it's very, very interesting. You know, Kylan and Oz, I have a discussion with Tyson and Angela, and I thought this discussion went kind of smoothly. I like how diplomatic Angela and Tyson are trying to be, or are being, let me say that. So they've given, like, they're listening to Aza and Kylan about who do y'all potentially want to go up against. So I'm like, okay, this is really, really dope. I'm liking this, you know? I also like how they have the whole money set up, which is kind of like how they had the star point system on Paramount's Plus All-Star Season, Season 3. They got a point system or whatever the case may be. I was liking that for, I'm liking that for this because no matter where you are, you have to make sure that you secure money in your account in order for you to be eligible to go to the finals. I'm loving this. Because oftentimes in these seasons, people just skate by and skate through. You can't do that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Can't do that. So, 
conversations are had and discussions are saying that we want James and Shannon to go in because Shannon doesn't want to be here and if she doesn't want to be here, let's send her home. And you know, James won his season on Amazing Race or whatever the case may be, but then Tice is like, yeah, okay, well, if we throw them in, what happens with the other potential connections on the Amazing Race? You know, they can be com competition beasts. Right now, the layup group is the Love Island people because, you know, they're Love Island people. I don't know if you can really say that about all of them because the only ones that failed this challenge were members of the Big Brother team, and that was Kylan and Aza. Everybody else passed their uh, their challenge. Everybody else. Cinco did amazing with Desi, and I'm just like, whoo, that's a pair. Um, Tiffany did amazing with her partner, and I'm like, okay, whoo, that's a pair. Let's go. Xavier did good with, like, they're all doing good. So I'm like, okay. We can't really say much about the Love Island people because they passed and Big Brother crew didn't. At the end of the day, they end up putting Giovanni and uh, Celsi or Silly, Silly or whatever her name is in, in there. And I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at the, 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 the cakeage like, whoa, like, fine. I'm trying to get past that. But what, what gooped me, though, is that as Aza and Kylan are doing their 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 interview, you know, their commentary before getting into the arena, Giovanni and Selly are talking mad ish. And in my mind, I'm like, you can't do that to Kylan, cause <laughs> Cause Kylan will approach you and start asking you about your family and what about your son. Like, you know what I'm saying? He will do that and step up to you. So you don't want to do that to Kylan, but I think Kylan got that. I think Kylan could have. I, I want to feel. I want to say that Kylan got a speech after that. Like, no, 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 no. Don't do that again. On if you go on TV again, don't do nothing like that again. But Giovanni and Selly are taunting them, talking about how you gonna do? You gonna pass out again? You gonna pass out? And I'm like, ooh, son. <laughs> what? And you can see Kylan's face, like, mmm. Okay, okay, okay. Kylan already know he got a lot of work cut out for him because the Aza, but. Somehow, some way, they pull it off. And Aza and Kylan win. And I'm just like, yes. I don't want Kylan to go home the first game. And I don't I don't want Aza to go home the first game. I don't know who Giovanni is and I don't know who Steli is. They can go. The Love Island people could go first. The Amazing Race people can go second. Then the Survivor group. And then let's just make this whole thing a Big Brother situation. Again, let's do it, Tiff. Let's do it, Tiff. Let's go. I wonder what Tiffany's thing is going to be. Now that we got this thing at the end with this algorithm. And TJ Lavin, I'm telling you, you need to bring this algorithm to the main show. Okay? Because when he pulled that algorithm out and told them that they would have different partners every game, I was like, oh, hell yes. This is what needs to happen in the regular seasons, and this needs to be a staple all day long. The point system needs to be a staple all day long, and this algorithm thing needs to be a staple all day long. And I'm here for it because now this will show how much of a, an amazing strategist the likes of James, Tiffany, Tyson, Angela, Xavier, all of these people. Let's see how much of a strategist they really are because they were good on their show, but are they going to be good on this show with this algorithm thing that mixes it up? Where if you have Big Brother going against Love Island, but now Big Brother is on the team with Lo Lo Love Island, like if Tiffany ends up on the team with Cinco, what's going to go down? Because okay, so you know Tiffany's not going to put her partner up, you know, up in the thing. So like it's going to be really, really interesting to see how this is going to go. And I also want to see if Derek and Alyssa are really going to go after the cookout. I definitely want to see that. I don't know. I'm so curious. I'm so curious. And this is amazing. I did not think I was going to like this. I really didn't think I was going to like this. But I'm vibing with it. And I'm here for it. And I'm here for these players, the diversity on both shows, and the personalities on both shows. I'm here for it. I can't wait. I'm going to be reviewing this as best as I can because I'm a single uh, guy, one person doing, running my network, running my company, and it's a lot of freaking work. And so I'm, I'm going to make sure that I find the time to do this as best and as, as, 
as consistent as I can. But don't hold me though, don't hold me. Anyways, leave your comments below and let me know your top four for the Challenge USA. Right now my top four for the Challenge USA is the cookout, minus Aza. I'm going for Kylan, I'm going for Xavier, I'm going for Tiffany, and I'm going for Derek and or David. Probably, probably, I'm gonna say David because I want, I want David to win. I want David to win something, and so I'm going for her. And he seems like he makes it quite far because he's on a lot. I've seen him in a lot of the footage on a lot of these challenges, so we'll see. As do I see Tiffany, Xavier, and and Kylan. The, the four that I said, they're on a lot of episodes. But anyways, leave your comments below. Let me know who you think your top four are, and um, yeah, I'm so excited. Deuces.